Contentment is natural wealth. Luxury is artificial poverty. Possessing contentment is arguably one of the most important qualities you can possess on this earth. Having content allows you to astutely assess any scenario in front of you with utmost perspicacity, deep and shrewd insight into things. And you're able to smile. And you're able to smile because of the peace that you have with yourself. The peace of mind that you perpetually possess. Because having peace of mind is important in this world. With all of the evil unfolding, which I sure do not even have to mention. I'm sure you guys know exactly what evil exists in this world. And if not, I'll make a video on it soon. But with all the evil in this world, of course there is a force of good. A force of excellence. A phenomenal, extraordinary, stupendous force of divine power. And that is God. Jesus Christ. Holy Trinity. And with good there is evil. With light there is dark. People say this all the time. And it's about whatever scenario you are currently facing in life. Maybe you had a close relative die. Maybe your business is popping off. Maybe you're extremely happy in life. Maybe you're succeeding in every metric known to man. Maybe you're sad. Maybe you've gone through extreme hardships and turmoil and suffering. Whatever scenario you are in, and this is a philosophy that I always apply to myself, and I'm really glad I learned this when I did. It's possessing contentment. Being at peace with yourself, having peace of mind with, it, with whatever scenario arises, you are at peace with yourself. Because if you do not have peace with yourself, you truly have nothing. You really have nothing. There's one more quote I wanted to read. Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control and some things are not. If you think and visualize all the aspects that are in your control and no one else's, if you focus on what you can control and you master it and you disregard and completely ignore the factors that you cannot control in this life, you possess contentment, you possess peace of mind with what you can control, you max out the stats of what you can control, and I believe you are truly on your way to living a life filled with wealth, abundance, health, and peace. That's why I believe possessing Profound contentment with whatever scenario you are in is the key to unlocking the truth that you perpetually seek. That each one of us on this earth has a truth that they seek. The meaning, the purpose of their living, why they wake up every single day, why they do certain things. Because if you possess content, if you're at peace with yourself in all the events of all the all the worldly socioeconomical events occurring around you, you're at peace with yourself, you're at peace with everything then who is to tell you otherwise? Who is to sway you one direction or another when it doesn't even matter? When you're at peace with yourself, when you're truly at peace with yourself, that's the key to life. <laughs> that might be blunt, but it's a quality that I'm honing every day. Being content, being elated, joy, because while I've had this argument with myself for a very long time, if life is truly about enjoying it, is life about enjoying it? Or is, is life as a man especially about working absolutely hard every single day and disregarding my emotions and focusing on protecting, focusing on providing for what I love, for my future family, for my future children? Having 50 kids, by the way, don't believe me, just keep on watching. Might, might, be, might take a couple decades, but I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. And while I believe I'm still discovering this philosophical, or I'm still delving into this philosophical epiphany that I am currently having. And I've had this for a while. I guess I wouldn't call it an epiphany. It's been a long-lived epiphany. I guess uh, I wouldn't call it a perpetual one. But is life about working absolutely and utterly hard, disregarding your emotions, and purely focusing on the fact that you need to protect and you need to provide and you need to care and you need to change lives? Or is, or is it about... Whoa, 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 I don't stutter. Whoa, guys. Or is it about enjoying every day? Waking up with joy and happiness. And while I'm talking about this in this video right now as we speak, now I'm having the epiphany of it's a mix of both. 
And I'm sure you expected that answer, but it's a lot more deep than that. Having a mix of both, of course, balances everything in life. And while you can always live to the extremes, you're always missing out on the gray area if you are living to the extremes. Life is about working undeniably hard and diligent towards pr providing and protecting and caring for what you aspire to be in this world of evil and good. But it's also about enjoying the process, enjoying the life that you are living. And I believe people find enjoyment in this life many, many different ways. And I think it's about the journey of honing and channeling what you truly enjoy that is authentic to yourself and genuinely helping you in every metric of life and not poisoning you, then I think that's when you unlock the key again. I keep on circling back to unlocking the key of life, but isn't that what we're all trying to do? <laughs> we're all trying to seek contentment. I can't speak for all of you, but I can speak for me. I'm trying to seek content. I'm trying to be at peace with whatever scenario I am in. I almost forgot the main point of the video. But possessing profound contentment does not mean you can possess a bloodthirst of conquest and power. Now, when I say conquest and power, I mean that in a subjective sense. That's yours. It's your way to decipher that. For me, it's becoming absolutely wealthy. Wealthy in love, joy, diligence, money. And I'm not going to let the fact of possessing profound contentment affect and suppress my will to conquer, my will to live the life that I've always aspired to live. It's a balance. It circles back to the balance again of wanting to enjoy life or just working all the time. And like I said, there's always a balance. I was planning on titling this video, not letting your contentment suppress your conquest or something like that. But it might be different now. All I know is I'm a 20 year old living in Thailand, living my dream, which is insane to say. Five months ago, I was working a job. Whoa, 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 man, whoa. And now I'm looking right past this camera on a balcony on the 20th story, gazing upon the skyline, and now I'm gonna be moving to an island in a week to train Muay Thai and become even more wealthy in every metric. Like, bro, I can truly do whatever I want. And how freeing is that thought? Because it used to not be like that. It really didn't. But I am going to end off the video there. So I greatly appreciate you watching. And before I end it off, I will say I have not been mentally locked in, mentally dialed in and focused on my goal. I've been lost in this experience of, it's like the, the step I finally took to live my dream life is still processing. But I think now I'm truly starting to realize I don't have time to waste. I have an empire to build. I have lives to change. And I'm glad I realized that now. I've wasted too much time. Had a little bit too much fun since I've been here. But thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you that watched this video. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.